Okay, so this is a question from Greer, and Greer said uh, that um, they were in recovery from 45 years of anorexia, bulimia, um, and started sort of recovery or stop, restriction, or stop restricting and started to get really bad edema. And from what I took it from the brief, what they wrote, maybe it had been quite a while and they were worried about this edema. So I guess we're talking about edema specifically edema after purging like if a person has a history of purging so and I talked to the wonderful Dr Gaudiani on a podcast about this which is still available if you go on my website or on iTunes wherever podcasts are and go to my podcast which is called Eating Disorder Recovery Podcast with Tabitha Farrar and Search for Edema because she explains this like a doctor would which is way better than me because I'm not a doctor Anyway, the gist, the gist of it is that your body does this really cool thing when it thinks it's dehydrated. So it has the ability to produce a hormone called aldosterone or produce high levels of this hormone, which basically makes you retain water. And the function of that is, say, if you're in an environment where there wasn't enough water, then your body, because it's so smart, very good at surviving, would be able to produce a hormone and then you'd retain more water. Fucking genius. Genius. Anyway, so when you purge, and if you purge frequently, then that is a very dehydrating effect on the body. And so the body is like, well, obviously we're in a desert then because there's not enough water well, it doesn't really think that but you know what I mean it's like you know the body acts as if there's not enough water in the environment and, and it beautifully and very geniusly produces more aldosterone and helps you retain water now whilst you're still purging because as I said purging is very dehydrating you don't notice this additional uh, water retention because it's not really additional if you think about it. Your body's doing it because you're getting rid of a load of water by purging. And so your body's sort of negating it by reducing more aldosterone and keeping allowing it to keep a little bit more hydrated. So you don't notice it whilst purging is still going on. But when you stop purging, then that's when you notice it. Because the little bit of the issue that sometimes happens with some people, not everyone, is that they stop purging. And their body, though, continues to produce higher levels of aldosterone than normal. And so because the body's producing more aldosterone than normal, because I don't know, they might have been purging for a long time and then the body's just very used to producing this higher level of aldosterone to keep you a bit more hydrated. And then you stop purging and the, it's like the body didn't get the memo and it just kept on producing higher levels of aldosterone. And that's when water retention and, and edema can happen. And so... If you have edema that's been going on for a long time um, and is painful or anything like that, because a, a little bit of edema, we could say, is relatively normal to be expected in recovery. But if it goes on for a long time or it's a lot or if, there's, if you're concerned about it at all, there is actually a test that doctors can do that test aldosterone levels. So you can go and get your aldosterone levels tested. And then if your body is overproducing aldosterone, then there's some medication that you can take that will help your body realize that it no longer needs to produce such a high level of that hormone um and so a little bit of a reset is sometimes needed um it, i think that sometimes it can get a bit confusing in the recovery community because edema is a little bit normal like most of us get a bit of it that everybody's told like oh edema is normal in recovery and nothing to worry about but then some people especially if they've had a history of binging and purging the purging being the problem not the binging, if they've got a history of purging, then, you know, they're sort of all sort of all too given the message. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. And they're sort of like just written off as like, that's just normal recovery thing. When actually something that is not quite optimal is going on there and is something that should get checked out by a doctor, by a professional and maybe given your body some help with. Because I've known people that have had, they, you know, they've come out, um, finished purging, they've come out purging and stop restricting and stop purging and, and have had horrific edema and have just sort of been told oh that's normal just fine it'll go away and it's been like months and months and months and it hasn't gone away and really 
they should have got it checked out and they go and get their aldosterone levels checked. But the problem, the reason that all this is a problem is because there's not very many doctors that specialise in eating disorders like Dr Gaudiani do. And so that's, the, that's why it's not very widely known because she's, she's probably the only one that I really know. <laughs> it's not like I know tons of doctors that, you know, like there's just not very many doctors that nichely specialise in eating disorders. And if you think about it from a poor doctor's point of view, if you're just a general practitioner, you've got hundreds of people to see with all these different things. You can't be an expert in everything. So you can't get mad at your primary care provider or your GP for not knowing to test your aldosterone levels because that's a very niche eating disorder thing that not even a lot of eating disorder professionals know about. Well, don't get me started on that. Um, I'm sure that Dr. D Gaudiani has more resources on this also on her website if you go to her website and I know that she does these one minute videos that are really good and if you google search edema you'll probably find something on this as well um, and that that hormone that I keep on talking about is aldosterone that's the one that also you need to look up if you want to find out more about that and what happens there all right hope that helps bye